Hey guys, what's up? I'm Captain Mike and welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. Today we're going to talk about a new piece of tackle that just made its way into my hands. Um, you're probably one of the first, or I'm certain you're one of the first people, uh, first anglers here in Florida that have ever seen this bait. Okay, and I know that I'm one of the first that's ever actually held this bait. And I'm just so excited about the possibilities here and the potential with this lure that I really wanted to spend a few minutes and talk to you a little bit more about it and give you an opportunity to see it before anybody else as well. So this is called the Slipstream Flying Fish. It's from Nomad Design. We know Nomad makes incredible offshore lures. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of the DTX Minnow, the Nomad Mad Max. Um, I fish those lures exclusively for Wahoo. There's a variety of other Nomad baits, poppers, stick baits, the Vibe baits, all sorts of really effective lures. These guys are super dialed in, there's no question about it. Um, and they literally produce some of the finest offshore equipment I've ever seen in my entire life. And their most recent introduction of this flying fish fake is no different. It really introduces a bait that we've never had access to before. You know, flying fish are a staple, not only here in the Florida Keys, all around Florida and really all around the world offshore fishing, but there's never really been an effective lure that mimics that bait. We've had some rubber or plastic flying fish imitations and they've caught some fish and you know, you can hang them from a kite you can maybe pull some you know on the troll but nothing has really been anywhere near as perfect or as versatile as these slipstream flyers so let me tell you a little bit more about them first of all they're available in three sizes the 140 here i guess it'd be easier to show it to you like this the 140 which is just dolphin candy right there i mean just look at the size of that bait if that's not perfectly mimics you know your average flying fish i don't know what does so that's the 140 size then you have the 200 size which is right there the one that i'm holding in my hand a little bit of a larger profile and keep in mind all of these baits float keep that in mind all of them all three different sizes so that's the 200 size and then there's this massive 280 size i mean look at the i mean that thing is just a giant i haven't even taken it out of the package yet i'm afraid to i mean it's 280 is the size and it's it's a heavy heavy bait um, and this is really designed for very special fisheries the giant tunas you know the big blue fins and yellow fins off the west coast that are you know crushing big kite baits stuff like that so um, it's not something that I'm, I really anticipate seeing a lot of use here in Florida, a bait this large, but who knows, somebody might go out there and try it. However, this 140, I really feel is just absolutely perfect along with the 200. So these are the two sizes that we're going to talk a lot about. We're going to talk about rigging techniques, how to fish these. They're all available in a variety of really natural color patterns. As you can see, this one has more of a greenish blue hue to it beautiful scale pattern on the side there's just an awesome horizontal flash line right there i mean like handcrafted it almost looks like artwork right there and not only on the top but i mean he will do a 360 of this bait and you can see that around the entire thing it's really finished off just like I said, like artwork. I'm really, really impressed. And the same with all of the colors. This one, I, I don't know what they call this color. You know, again, I just got my hands on these baits, but again, just perfectly mimics that natural flying fish. So a lot of cool color patterns. Also understand that you can customize your own because these wings right here are removable. Okay, really neat and replaceable really really neat so you can swap out the the wings and you know put on your own color and mix and match or if this happens to get damaged you can replace it so really a nice feature and the wings are held on with a little screw there's just a tiny little screw right there in a bolt and keep in mind that one of the tools that's provided with every lure pack is that tiny little screwdriver that enables you to switch out those wings Okay, nice feature. Now keep in mind, you've noticed that I've moved these wings, okay? You may have thought that they folded back and down, but they don't. They 
rotate up into this position. Couple of reasons. First and foremost, it makes it easier to cast this bait because you can cast it. And I'll tell you what, that's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to getting out there on a weed line. There's dolphin all around. I'm gonna tie this bait onto an eight foot casting rod, you know, something, because keep in mind, you're not gonna chuck it a country mile. It has a big profile. It doesn't weigh a tremendous amount. Don't think you're gonna throw this as far as you would any typical stick bait or something like that, but you can get it out there, especially downwind. Longer rod matched to a Shimano twin power loaded with like 20 pound mono or even 20 pound braid. You're gonna be able to throw that bait. Certainly the 200 size, no question. So when throwing the bait, the wings will fold up and you could, it's just gonna be a little bit more aerodynamic. I guess that's the best way to say it. However, once it hits the water, those wings are gonna immediately get right back into position. And certainly once you start retrieving that lure, because here it is, it's coming at you and look what happens. Of course, the wings are gonna just pop open right there. So it gives it just tremendous action. Look, and they're not stiff. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of action with those wings right there. These back pec fins, they are removable as well. They will pop out, however, they're sturdy. They're really tough in place. You're not gonna wanna remove those, okay? You wanna keep those there. But here's a nice feature, check this out. The tail, okay, again, very realistic right there, but it pops out. So with enough pressure, and of course it's not that easy because you don't want it to pop out unless you want it to pop out, but there it is, it's just fixed into position with this little, I don't know, rubber piece, so to speak, very durable. The tail comes off, and now you've got this awesome flyer and doesn't have a tail. So it might make it a little bit easier to cast, maybe a little bit easier to troll. It's really a matter of personal preference if you want to include that tail on there or not. If you want to put it back, look, there's a hole right there that that slides into, you can't mess this up. I mean, it's literally like a, a Lego piece, you know? Look, it's back in right there. So it's that simple to reattach that tail. And I recommend you experiment with it. There's gonna be a lot of experimenting with these baits. When they start flooding the market, guys are gonna get their hands on these baits. They're gonna start fishing them as teasers, as lures all over the world, I guarantee it. And there's gonna be some really innovative rigging techniques. There already are. There's a variety of different ways to rig these lures. And we're gonna talk about that. But again, that's the lure. It's the Slipstream Flying Fish from Nomad Design. Three sizes, 140, 200, and the Mac Daddy 280 Giant, okay? So let's get back to these. Like I said, with each package, and probably be easier to show it on this. With each package, you're, you receive this little tool kit, this little rigging kit, okay? It comes with all three sizes right there, this little rigging kit. And the rigging kit includes multiple pieces. First and foremost, there's the appropriate hook for each lure. You don't have to use that hook, but they give you one. Um, I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna switch them out. You know me, I'm really, really specific on particular hooks, but it's nice that, of course, they do provide that hook right in the package. There's gonna be that screwdriver, okay, that is used to simply remove the wings if you wanna take them off and put different wings on, um, or if it's damaged, whatever the you know point is. Although, I gotta be honest, this is a very, very durable bait. Very much like all Nomad Design lures, this thing is built to last. It's built to withstand the rigors of hardcore offshore fishing. It's not a toy. This is not a joke. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I have no idea what the price is, but whatever it is, it's worth it because it's built super, super tough. In addition, there's a small rubber tube that's also provided. And what that's used for is actually fixing the hook in position right on the top of the bait. There's a slit that runs the top length of the bait right there. And you literally can fix the hook in position using that rubber tube. Ideally suited for kite fishermen, as an example. If you were kite fishing, you know, I'm gonna show you here, I'm just gonna kinda snake this little tube onto the hook, onto the shank, and then I'll fix it into position and you'll see exactly what I mean, okay? Um, and again, really, 
designed for a, a you know a lot of different rigging options if you're going to be kite fishing and you want that tube to hold that hook in place certainly you can do it if you're trolling of course you there's other rigging methods that we'll talk about so you can see all I did was slide that tube up onto the shank of the hook and without getting into great detail, okay, I can fix that right there into position. And once I rig that, look at that hook. There it is, it's jammed in there. It's not going anywhere, boom. So it's sitting right on the top of that lure perfectly straight. If I'm kite fishing, I could literally dangle the bait right from the eye on the top of the head. I could have the hook right up on the top of the lure. It's not in the water. The only thing the fish is going to see is the profile of the bait sitting on the surface. Just like that. I mean, wow, right? Wow. And that's just literally skipping and jumping right on the surface. The hook is affixed to the top. I could add a stinger hook with another treble in the back if I wanted to do that by crimping it on there lot of different options okay a lot of different options so that little tube is included there's a little green bead a stopper that's also included and that's in the event you rig take that tail off and you rig that hook to the back of the lure you would use that stopper okay and that would prevent or hold that hook right into position you can use a stiff rig or a loose hook you can rig it with the hook facing up you can rig it with the hook facing down. You can rig it with the hook sideways. I mean, there's almost no limit to what you can do with this thing. It's like the imagination is the only limit here. So really, really neat. Um, I can tell you, I'm definitely gonna use these baits in a couple different ways. One is casting and casting it right on the bottom of the lure is a solid eye with a metal plate inside so trust me you can you could pull a tow truck off that thing and i'm going to put an assist hook on there an assist hook with the split ring no other hardware and that's going to allow me to cast that lure it's going to the hook itself is going to be in line with the lure i probably will take the tail off because the hook will almost act as a tail be a little bit easier to cast as well and just popping that across the surface and I know I'm going to get some explosive strikes from both blackfin tunas and the dolphin. Really looking forward to that. Now in addition in each pack is also this little plastic, oh it almost looks like a toothpick almost really it's all it is. But uh, let me explain what that is, real important. At the head of the lure, there are two holes. There's one right underneath here in the chin area. You may or may not be able to see that, but I promise you it's there. And there's another one that is right there, centered right at the front in the center. So I can determine exactly how I want to rig my lure. Do I want to fish it more straight? Do I want that head a little bit higher? And I want the leader to come out that bottom hole. So what this stopper does as I'm feeding my leader in this direction from the tail toward the head, because of course there's a hole right there. You can't miss it. You know, hopefully you can see it right there okay i'm feeding my leader up into the lure if i want the leader to come out the bottom hole i'm simply going to use that to plug the top hole and now the leader will come out the bottom hole and i can again finish off my rigging the opposite if i want the leader to come out the top hole all i have to do is plug the bottom hole i feed my leader in and it comes out the top hole remove the little plastic stopper i guess we'll call it whatever you want to call that and your lure is ready to rig again a couple different rings up on top also metal plate so you don't have to worry about that ever failing multiple ways to rig this bait multiple ways to to fish this lure you know right off of a kite like we talked about earlier is going to be deadly there's no question i mean dolphin sailfish a variety of species they can't ignore a helpless flying fish it's their favorite and now we can present them with that bait effectively so kite fishing is going to be really really effective with these trolling no question i guarantee you will see these baits in my trolling spread on florida sport fishing tv this season i may fish them as a teaser one off each rigger and maybe one down the middle you can troll that bait six to eight knots is ideal for that 200 size right there maybe a little bit slower okay for the 140 size 
Um, again, there is that 280 size, which you can, who knows, there's probably no limit to how fast you can pull this giant thing. But again, that's not really for us. I really see these two sizes getting the most play. It's going to literally, literally just skip across the surface, just like a natural flying fish would. Okay, so on the troll, it's going to be deadly. It's gonna be deadly, okay? Um, Casting we talked about, trolling, kite fishing, you know, who knows? I'm telling you, I think I'm even going to take one of these, maybe when I'm drifting along a wreck, fishing the bottom, jigging, take one of these on a flat line, chuck it out there, and let it just sit on the surface. How many times have we seen flying fish just sitting on the surface, right? Completely unaware of the fact that there are predators nearby and then a fish blows up on that bait. It's not going to take a lot of action to make this look real. Just the silhouette and the profile alone is going to be enough. Just that sitting on the surface and with just a little bit of motion with the boat moving and the boat drifting and maybe in a little bit of a chop, this thing is going to be deadly. And I'm really convinced that even as a flat line, it's going to get crushed. So, you know, oh, I should also mention that there's also some heavy duty little rigging bands that are included in that little rigging kit. Okay. There's also some heavy duty rigging bands. So when you fix your hook up on the top of the lure, you can use some of those additional rigging bands to hold it in position. Uh, some guys may want to rig, you know, a treble hook closer to the tail. Again, there's a lot of different options there. You can go on the Nomad Design website. They've got a variety of uh, rigging videos that really show you step-by-step -step how to rig each lure. I wanted to just share an introduction to these baits with you. I just got them in my hands. I wanted you to be the first to see them here at Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. And I promise you that as the summer months, as the spring you know, is right around the corner and eventually turns into summer, I am absolutely gonna put the split, the slipstream flying fish to use in my spread i'm really looking forward to seeing the results i know it's going to be explosive wow <laughs>